everyone how are you all welcome to the class students today we will explain the chapter number 2 of biology that is reproduction in plants so first answer the following questions so what is meant by reproduction name the two types of methods of reproduction in plants so reproduction that is the process of living being to producing young ones of their own kind the two types of methods of reproduction in plants that is asexual or vegetative reproduction also and b sexual mode of reproduction second question is what is meant by vegetative propagation name any two plants which are produced by the vegetative propagation dear students we know that it is an asexual method of reproduction in plants and it is also called vegetative propagation because the production of new plants taken place through the vegetative part of the plants and the two plants here which reproduced vegetatively that are rose plants and potato okay so next one is analyze the kind of here pollination based on here basis of their here question so next one is pollination so basis on their agents you will explain it so pollination can occur in two ways one is self pollination and second is cross pollination so in self pollination the transfer of the pollen grain from the stamen of one flower to the stigma of same flower that is known as self pollination and in cross pollination the pollen grains from here the anther of one flower moves to the stigma of another plant flower okay so this is called the cross pollination and these are several agents given here which involves in the pollination so that are insects winds and water so here pollination by insects you know when an insect sit on the flower to suck nectar the pollen grains from the nectar here the anther it stick in the legs of that insect and when it sit on another flower to stuck nectar then the pollen grains are transferred to the stigma of this second flower and in this way it helps into the process of pollination second one is pollination by wind so the blowing wind carries pollen grains from one flower to other flower and helps in pollination and pollination by water you know plants that are pollinated by water that are usually aquatic and the pollens float in water and when they come in contact with the stigma of the female flower they get attached and undergo fertilization here now next one is explain how fertilization takes place in a plant write short note on the following grafting and budding so students here the pollen grains after reaching the stigma of another flower starts growing by forming a pollen tube and this pollen tube has two male nuclei which travels down the style and enters the ovule which is found in the ovary and in the ovary pollen tube releases male cells which fuse with female cells to produce the zygote and this process of fusion of male gamete with the female gamete in which zygote is formed that is called the fertilization then next one is what is grafting so this method is used to obtain a plant by combining two different plants in their method here a stem cutting called season here without roots from one plant is attached and tied to the other stem cutting parts okay that is called the stalk so here here that is with roots and the cut stem is fixed properly and covered with tape so that it becomes part of the host plant and continues to grow and grafting is most commonly seen in which plant that is rose plant 
नेक्स्ट वन इज बर्डिंग बर्डिंग इज अ टाइप ऑफ एसेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इन विच ए न्यू ऑर्गेनिज्म इज फाउंड फ्रॉम ए बर्ड एंड हेयर एक्सिस्टिंग ऑर्गेनिज्म द न्यू ऑर्गेनिज्म रिमेन्स अटैच टू द पार्ट हेयर पेरेंट ऑर्गेनिज्म टिल इट गेट्स मेच्योर फॉर एग्जाम्पल हाइड्रा एंड ईस्ट रिप्रोड्यूस्ड बाई द बर्डिंग ओके डियर स्टूडेंट्स आवर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉच इज द फंक्शन ऑफ ए फ्लॉर एंड ड्राई लेवल डायग्राम ऑफ ए फ्लॉर शोइंग इट्स वेरियस पार्ट एंड वाई आर फ्लॉर जनरली सो कलरफुल एंड फ्रेगरेंट सो फ्लॉर्स कंटेन्स द सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्टिव ऑर्गेन ऑफ ए प्लांट द फंक्शन ऑफ फ्लॉर इज टू मेक द मेल एंड फीमेल गैमीट एंड to ensure that fertilization will takes place to make seeds for growing new plants thus flower are for sexual reproduction in the plants and flowers are generally colorful and fragrant because they help in pollination bright colored petals and nectar attract the insect and these insect help in pollination you can see it in the figure 2.13 which is given in your book and next question is what is meant by asexual reproduction in plants so here next one is answer is asexual reproduction this method of reproduction involves a single parent which gives rise to the new individual or the offspring produced by this method that are the exact copies of their parents that means in asexual reproduction the new one is same like their parent and asexual reproduction in plants that is found in example that is clamidomonas and rhizopus here sexual reproduction in this method there is an involvement of male and female organs and the gametes their gametes most of the flowering plants are produced by the third and sexual reproduction in plants found in hibiscus rosa sinensis that is also known as gurhal you know and valisneria the next one is picture based question here you will write the pollen tube pollen grains in the given figure and pollen grains you know these are present on the anther of male and they are in the form of yellow is powdery substance and they contain the male gamete okay so it was about the pollen grains and pollen tube it is a tube which arises from the pollen grains when they start growing sigma here and it has two male nuclei which travels down the style and enters the ovule in the obri next one is xl you know it is a haploid female gamete forming a zygote after fertilization and which gives rise to the diploid embryo next male gamete it is a sex cells which are produced here through the process of meiosis it is very important and the male gamete form in an anther enclosed in a pollen grains students next question is application based so here name the parts you will mention in figure stigma style here stigma ovary and ovule you will mention there you will write there now what is the name of the long tube so that tube is pollen tube there that tube like structure like this into the stigma style and ovary here so that is in female that is pollen tube here and name the part which turns into the fruit you know that ovary turns into the fruit and ovule turns into the ovule turns into the seed okay students now explanation of this note note so that is completed hope that you will write it properly and learn it thank you thank you everyone